All right. Hey, everybody. We are here still at uh, the Strike and Barrel in Wake Forest, North Carolina for Triangle Regional, Regional number five. We are watching the third place game between Frank Modlin, future Hall of Famer, and Joe Johnson against Caleb Avery, ACL Pro, and Jerry Sneed. Uh, that game's gonna be about to begin. So in the broadcast booth with me is Jacob Louder. Hey, Jacob. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. We were, we were talking about doing this on Wednesday. We were talking about That's this. right. Here we are. Barbara, uh, your uh, duck pin lane is whoop. available. Barbara, your duck pin lane is available. That is a very loud announcement. He's got a lot to say, it sounds like. Yeah, he does. So anyway, so again, this is the third place game. This, is, this one is an elimination game. Just to get to the king seat, excuse me, to get to the folks who are in the king seat. Raven yep. and Stephen Moore. Yeah. So this is essentially the third place game. Guarantee some money here. Yeah, yeah. If you were to put Vegas odds on this game, James. I would say, think? I would say Jimmy Vegas says <laughs> Modlin and Johnson minus eight and a half. I like the way you roll. All I right. like the way you roll. Who are you taking? Woo. I know, right? <laughs> Did I hit it good? I think if I had to take a money line bet, I think I would definitely take Frank and Joseph here. All right, Caleb even Avery. minus eight and a half? Ah, Come on now. You're really, you're really twisting my arm here. I James. am, I, I am. I'm just, hey, man, come on now. I, Caleb Avery, I don't build these like... hotels <laughs> <laughs> out of dirt, boy. Come on. Come on. Eight and a half. Who are you taking? I can't watch the game and then I still, tell me. <laughs> I, still, I still think I'll take uh, I think I'll take Frank and Joseph. Here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Caleb Avery's an absolute dog. Jerry also great shooter. Dog, just consistency aside, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to take Joseph and Frank. Yeah, As no, I say we just, that they go down to it, you know. Yeah. Uh, down 2-0 after the first throw, <laughs> but hey, you know we'll roll the dice there. I like to no, I like I, the party. I have to agree with you. I have to agree with you. Although to be fair, right? So I don't know if this was done on purpose or not. Frank and Joe are shooting on opposite sides of when they shut everybody else out. <laughs> I just got word from uh, from the uh, peanut gallery that uh, one of our friends is uh, gonna need a ride home, and it's a good thing he rode with me today. So it is. Some people can handle their liquor, and some people That's cannot. Right. Hey, pull up a chair, man. Pull up a chair. Come on. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. It's, it's a party over here. Woo! All right, almost, almost. All right, we can't do that. We got the two folks in the King Seat scouting the match over here to the left. Yeah, yeah. You can't. I don't know if you can see them in the background of the camera, but there's Draven and Steven right in the front row. Do you think when you get to that level of one hole, it makes a difference what side of the board you're throwing on? Or do you think they're like, hey, look, I've been, I've been throwing hand off, hand away all day? Or do you think it's more of a matchup situation? No, I think it's more of a matchup situation, actually. But what I was what I was pointing at was that earlier, um, Frank and Joe were shooting at the uh, on the side closest to us. And Frank was down here on my left, and Joseph was down there on my right when they were, right? So, now, now that they're on the other side, it's a little bit, the, the way that it makes a difference, right, is that it's a different background that you're firing against. One, one person is firing against the wall, and another person is firing against a crowded bar. You know what I mean? I think in their case, it, it's, it's just more of a matchup situation, to be completely honest with you. I mean, you got Frank, I think he wants to, you know, Partner up here against Caleb Avery, two ACL pros. I don't yeah. think uh, I think they've both been on a stage big enough that doesn't concern them to have a bar in the background. Yeah, and then you have point. Jerry and then you have Joseph there with that kind of wall in the background. I don't think it makes too much of a difference. They're all some stud shooters. Um, I think just Frank and Caleb or Caleb have uh, have seen this stage a little more often. Yeah, that's a lot of words for just saying, James. You don't know what the heck you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, no, me, me. I don't know no, what I'm neither. talking about. <laughs> I think we need a waitress over here so we can get some shots. 
<laughs> I need a social to happen here shortly. That's I right, I know. I don't think we've been watching the game close enough. I think we've been talking too much, uh, <laughs> too much junk about this. One. We gotta yeah, all right, let's go. All right, we'll keep our fingers good. crossed here between Jerry and Joseph for a good right, social. I think we need a, Looking good so a cold beverage. That's right. Joseph, that's going to be a hell of a push for a second. <laughs> oh, oh man, Jerry yeah. with the airmail. Jerry. Let's the go. Top. Jerry's keeping up his side of the bargain. Nope, no, no chance now. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Jerry's hot now. That dog is raw. Oh, my. James, our eight and a half is not looking yeah. too hot. It is not <laughs> looking too good. So those of you who took the uh, <laughs> who took the underdog because you know March March Madness, good good call on your part. What's that? Oh, I don't know. It's on YouTube, I think. Yeah, we're we're broadcasting live right now on YouTube. Yeah, but this is gonna echo all up in your face. All right. Looks like we got a ten to two matchup right now. Yeah, well, I mean, Caleb Avery and Jerry up against Joseph. Frank right now is going to score some points. It's right now it's four on three. He's a dog. What a dog. Seven on three. That's a four pack. You know what I haven't seen today that I'd really like to see is the old Frank slick side flop. I have not seen one of those today. And I love Jeremy, your traditional lane is available. Jeremy, your traditional lane is available. Chiquita, your traditional lane is available. Chiquita, your traditional lane oh. is available. Joe with the classic oopsie daisy. <laughs> that's right. I believe that's at least six in a row for Jerry. Let's make it seven. Jerry has caught some fire right now. Yeah. So he's a perfect example of that whole left hander, right? Left hand over the board that we were talking about earlier today. There we go. We got the old switcheroo, both of them over the board. Yeah. All right, so that eight and a half is completely foobar. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess technically, no? Yeah, there's not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, it only counts up to 21. No, <laughs> no I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Even Frank had a look over his head over the oh boy. Caleb Avery. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that boy? Wow. It is 12 on one right now. Unless he drags this, this game is over, I think. That game is over. Sweet <laughs> Lord. What in the gosh? This what? has been the quickest two-game turnaround <laughs> I've maybe ever seen in my entire commentating career. Yeah, right. Which is less than all of Which them. is today. Which is today, that's right. Oh. My gosh. Wow. 